ago on the 20th of November, the Chinese government seized Singapore's military equipment. As of date, it has been one month, but the military equipment has yet to be returned to Singapore. Just one week ago, on the 15th of December, the Chinese government seized an American drone. And after five days, the American drone was returned back to the Americans. Now, here is where the interesting points are. Singapore's military equipment was seized by the Chinese government in Hong Kong. There were a total of nine military equipment, out of which each of them cost $10 million. Whereas, on the other hand, the Chinese government seized the American drone at the international water. The drone cost $150,000. Drone was being seized, Donald Trump made a big news out of it. He even tweeted about it twice. First, he said that Chinese that he stole this drone, and second, he said that the Chinese is free to keep the drone. The reason why the Chinese government actually seized the American drone was because it was in the international water, and the Chinese government claimed that they were actually trying to help the Americans. But what is the American drone doing at the South China Sea? That drone, on the technical aspect, is actually very advanced. For example, the underwater drone is used to measure the salinity and temperature of the sea. This information will allow the American government to figure out where are the best places for their submarines to operate in the event of a conflict with China over South China Sea. Many countries around the world came in to put fun at Singapore over the issues of Chinese seizure of the Singapore's military equipment, such as Australia, Indonesia, India, and Japan. Up to date, the Chinese government can't be bothered to respond to the Singapore government as to why they seized the nine military equipment. The reason why no one around the world came in and took pity on Singapore as to why the vehicles were being seized was well, because Singapore actually went around the world and started criticizing these countries. For example, at the South China Sea issue where the American drone was being found, the Philippines actually made no noise about Chinese being there. However, Singapore chose to make unnecessary comments on the South China Sea, such as saying that we have a different stand from China. And not only that, we also made fun of Chinese, saying that their countries are very dirty, all their countries are filled with smoke. And most recent case is Singapore went to the world, and during a meeting, they actually said that China no longer exists, making sarcastic comments against the Chinese government. When the American drones were being seized by the Chinese government, the Americans were very angry about it. This is because they were always taught to be aware of what's happening in their surroundings, as well as to be concerned about the society. When the Chinese government seized Singapore's military equipment, we all kept silent. Because we are not taught to be aware and we are not taught to ask for what is being taken from us then. It's just like we don't care even if our money is being taken away from us, do we?